Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will start with the conversion of the given Mealy machine to the Moore machine. The conversion of the Moore machine to the Mealy machine was a very simple process, but this is not that very simple. The conversion of the Mealy to the Moore. So we will take it patiently and try to understand how the progress, how this progresses. So for conversion, what we will do that uh, see, let, let us analyze these things. The first thing is that there is no transition which is ending at state A. So when I'm converting it to the Mealy machine, well, sorry, to the Moore machine, there will be no output associated with the state A. Although we have learned that the output is associated with every state, but when we are converting these, the output cannot be associated with the state A because you can see that there is no transition which is ending at state A. Now, after this, let us analyze the state number B. So what is happening in state B? There are few transitions which are actually giving us A as the output. So I can think of associating A at the state B. But there is one transition, this one, which is getting us the output B. So we cannot have the two outputs at the same state. In that case, we will have to make two different states. So what we do that we draw a state, let's say B and associate the output A with it. And let's say there is another state, which is B dash and let us associate B with that. So there are two different states, one which is producing the output A and one which is producing the output B. Now let's see the transitions. So the states A and C, when I'm moving from A to B, it produces the output small a on zero. And when I'm moving from C to B with zero input, it produces the output A, small a. Now, if I'm moving from B to B, you can refer to this transition. When I'm moving from B to B, it generates the output B. So when B takes zero as the input, it produces B as the output. So what we can say that when B is moving, B and B dash are actually the similar states, but with the different outputs. So that's why I'm saying that the movement is from B to B. B to B dash means B to B. Now at state number B dash, since, since I am in the self loop at B state here in the Mealy machine, so I should be in, in the self loop in the Moore machine also. So I, I need I need to output B. That's why I am making the self transition from B dash to B dash, which will produce the output B. So this is one of the part which has got completed. Let's see the transition to C. So in C, you can see that one out one of the transition and this one also is producing the output a, but this one is producing the output B. So now what we'll do that we'll make two C states, one, the C, which is already there. And one will be C dash. So what we can say that the C is producing, C is producing the output a, let's say C is producing the output a, and let's say C dash is producing the output B. Okay. Now, when I move from A to C with alphabet one as an input, so it should produce the output A. That's why I move from A to C. When I'm moving from B to C, then it should produce the output A. So from B, I am moving to C, which is giving us the output A on one. Now, since B and B dash are same state or the similar state, that's why I will move from B dash also with the symbol one that will produce the output A. So this one, look at this one. We are doing this. Let's see this once again, what has happened. Since I'm looking at the transition from B to C, which is expected to give us the output A. Hence from B, I will move to C state, which is producing the output A. Since B and 
B and B dash. I have formed B and B dash from B state only. That's why a transition should happen from B dash also to C state, which produces the output A. After this, you can see that there is a self loop in C, which is producing the output B. Hence, I will have to move from C to C dash state that produces the output small b. Since I am in the self loop in the state C in the Mealy machine, there has to be the self loop in the C also. But here the output has to be produced is B. Hence, I will make the self loop in the C dash state, not the C state. Fine. Now, there is one thing which has been left out. If you take it very, uh, very, very seriously, there's one thing very, which is left out. The state C on taking the symbol zero moves to state B and produces the output A. Since C and C dash are the equivalent states, hence the C dash state should also have the transition to B, which produces the output A. So on taking a symbol zero, C dash state also goes to B, which produces the output A. Fine. So I hope this is clear to you. And this way, we can convert the given Moore machine to the given Mealy machine to the Moore machine. So as I mentioned earlier in the conversion of the Moore machine to the Mealy machine, here too, what will happen that we will have to make the transition table. So there will be three parts in the transition table. One part will be the states from which I will show the transitions. It means A, B, B dash, C and C dash. There are five states here. The input alphabets are zero and one and the output alphabets will be associated with the states. So here you can see that the state A does not have any output associated with it. State B has the output A. State B dash has B output, state C has A output and state C dash has B output. Now state A by taking the symbol zero goes to state B and with one it goes to C. B state on zero goes to B dash and B state on one goes to C state. B dash on zero remains at itself and V dash on one goes to C. C on getting the symbol zero goes to state B and C on one goes to C dash. C dash on getting a small b symbol, sorry, zero symbol goes to state B and with the one transition, it remains at itself. So this is the transition table, which is defining del means the transition function and output function lambda. As you know that in the move machine, if I take the if I take the cross product of uh, sigma and q, this should map to one output function. So that's why I have done this. So this is this completes this example of conversion of the Mealy machine to the Moore machine. So here we have also seen that in the Mealy machine, we had three states, but in the Moore machine, we have five states. It means when we are converting the Mealy machine to the Moore machine, the Moore machine can have more number of the states than the Mealy machine. So thanks for the patient listening. We'll meet again with the new concept.